Feed the neighborhood with a tailgate-ready big bow box. It's bow time. Former Dukes took the field on Monday to showcase their skills to the scouts. With all of the preparation that goes into this day, keeping a steady mindset and remaining positive was a key for the players. There's a little pressure to it. Whatever we all put out there, that's the player that we are. You know, we can't you know, let anything, you know, sway our confidence. While the participants are focused on displaying what they could potentially bring to the field professionally, the emotions loom large. It's kind of bittersweet, you know. This is the last time I'm going to ever be on this field, like, doing stuff. The duo of Todd Santeo and Chris Thorne, who connected for seven touchdowns last season, kept it simple during the throwing and catching drills, relying on their many experiences together. I told him right before, I said, let's just do it like it's practice. And, you know, it was pretty clean. It was not indifferent. It just, you know, last time I probably catch the ball from Todd, so it was kind of emotional moment a little bit. Despite losing these key players, there are no worries from those moving from stars to fans about the team's future success with much of the same group returning. We had this thing rocking not too long ago and you know I just hope they keep it going and you know I have full faith in the team. I think Jamie can be you know squared away. While all the players have their own journey to furthering their football careers, the goal surely remains the same for everyone. Become an NFL starter. Be a great starter in the NFL. These Dukes will hope to hear their names called during the NFL draft, which is set to begin on April 27th. Reporting from Bridgeforce Stadium for Breeze TV, this is Colby Reese.